Hey friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. I was just watching a video article about fear. And the basic gist of the article is that many things that we are afraid of are irrational. Or that we have irrational levels of fear about even things we should be afraid of. And that it's destructive to our life. So don't live with irrational fear. And I think that it was a great article, but I don't think it goes far enough. Because there are rational fears as well. And it's not always e easy for us to tell the difference. And both can be destructive for us in life. So how do we deal with fear? It seems like there's a lot of things to fear right now. We could fear pandemic issues. Maybe there's another variant that's going to put us all back in our caves. Or there's government overspending and the resultant inflation. And, and what's that going to do to my savings and my retirement? What's it going to do to the stock market? Um, how am I ever going to pay off my student loans? There's a lot of society-wide fears right now. There's also personal fears. You know, what about that lump that I feel all of a sudden? Or, or what about, uh, what if I catch something that's, that's bad? Or what about my relationships? What if the people that I love turn their back on me? There's all sorts of things that we're afraid of. Right, right now we could be afraid of China. And there's a lot of fear about Russia and what is going to happen in the Ukraine. And the reality is just like we talked about not too long ago about anger. There was a place for anger. But in our anger, we're not supposed to sin. We're supposed to watch out because anger can lead to sin. Well, there's also a place for fear in our life. We should be afraid of things that are dangerous and not do them. It's kind of foolish for us to not take stock of the dangers that are out there and, and say, well, it's all because I have faith in God. No, have faith in God and row away from the rocks. You know, don't do stupid things just because you think God's going... I'm not supposed to say stupid because we're trying to get our grandkids to stop saying that. Don't do foolish things. That's, that's just as bad, isn't it? Don't do things that are dangerous and then expect God's going to bail you out all the time. Maybe God wants you to learn, don't do foolish things. But then we can't live in fear. And God doesn't want us to live in fear. And so he promises us things like Isaiah 41, verse 10 and following. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. God goes on in that speech to tell them they don't have to be afraid of their enemies at war. They don't have to be afraid of thirsting to death, that God's going to bring water into the desert. God has so many promises for us about how he's going to protect us. And so really the answer to fear is faith. Faith that we have a God who loves us and is in control of this universe. And, and even though that doesn't exempt us from problems, that somehow God's going to work out even the problems that we have for our good. So whatever we're facing today, we know we're going to have to get through it to the other side, but we know that in God, we will. I used to wonder as I was starting to read books and other stories about why did the stories have to always turn dark in the middle? It seems like they always start out really happy and then something terrible happens. And I thought, why does something always have to happen in the middle? And I guess that's because that's what life is. And life is about, the stories are often about reminding us that there is a time when it will pass. The Bible often says, and it came to pass. It never says it came to stay because all the problems in this world are going to be temporary. So whatever you're afraid of, realize one day you're going to laugh at it. 
because you have a God who's bigger than all of your problems. And the one thing we have to just be sure of is that we're right with him. Because if he's on our side, meaning we're on his side, then everything's going to turn out okay. So do not fear, God says, for I am with you. If you're with God, what can touch you? What can hurt you that can't be solved by him? Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this reminder. Father, I thank you that you are with us, that you care for us, that you are a great God who is in control and powerful, and you are a good God who uses that power for our blessing. Father, I pray that you would guide us and direct us, that we would know what it means to be on your side, that we would follow you faithfully, and then we could trust that you are with us and you will never leave us or forsake us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, love you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.